Welcome to another episode of Speaking Scientifically. Today's term is inherited traits. We'll get to inherited in a moment, but first, let's think about traits. Traits are the characteristics of you, the things that make you, you. Can you think of a few traits that you have? Uh, How about the color hair you have? Yeah, that is a trait. Can you think of another one? Uh, how about how tall you are? Yeah, that's a trait too. Can you think of another one? Uh, how about the color eyes you have? Yeah, that's a trait too. Can you think of another one? Uh, I'm a really good dancer, right? That's a trait. But that's something that you've learned to do. Humans learn all kinds of stuff, like how to speak a certain language, or how to play basketball, how to make a pumpkin pie, how to dress up your dog. But inherited traits are different. These are things that are passed on from our parents and our ancestors in a sort of building instructions that are stored in every cell in your body. Another term for these building instructions is genes. G-E-N-E-S, not J-E-A-N-S. If somebody says your long arms are in your jeans, it doesn't mean you put your pants on the wrong way. It means you inherited your long arms from your parents. It's in your genes. G-E-N-E-S. You've got your own unique appearance and your own features. You're totally different than everybody else on this planet. And your genes have a huge part in how that happens. But there are also things that all humans have, like lungs and a heart and a brain and skin. And these are inherited traits too. There are also behaviors that we inherit too. We call these instincts. If somebody throws something at your face, you're probably gonna blink. You might duck. Those are instincts. When you see a friend or a family member, you're gonna smile, right? That is another instinct. Now play guitar, or doing kung fu, or making a pizza. These are all things that we learn to do, but there are certain inherited traits that might help you excel at some of those activities. For example, if you play basketball and you're really, really tall, that's an inherited trait, being tall, you're gonna be able to reach that basketball before somebody shorter can. So the inherited trait of being tall might help you be a better basketball player. My dog, Banjo, he's got these short little legs. He's never gonna be able to run as fast as a greyhound. But those short little legs do help him get down into a little burrow or a hidey hole and catch some animal that that greyhound wouldn't be able to get to. There's a ton more I could teach you about inherited traits, and there's a lot of stuff that we still don't know. Maybe you wanna be a scientist to help us discover more about inherited traits. But if you're a kid, what you need to know is inherited traits are things that you are born with that you don't really have much control over, like the color of your eyes or how long your arms are gonna to grow to be. And these are very different from behaviors that we've learned to do. If you've got more things you wanna learn, type them in the little comment box, send them to me, and I might do your term or word next on Speaking Scientifically. Bye. Speaking Scientifically. Speaking Scientifically.